Right then, Paul, um, we're going to just go into Featons now. Okay? Yeah. This is um, the first time I've been here for quite a few years now. Um, I haven't come purposely because of the history of the ground and the way it's been, everything's kind of transpired. But now's the time for us to take a stroll, go onto the ground where Arthur made his name, and just let's see what it feels like because it's. Uh, Scary, really. I'm quite nervous. I've got to be honest with you. Oh, I'm scared too, but this because is where it's all happened. But it's where it all started, isn't it? The pride. Um, God, I'm 40 years, eight years old, and this is history in its own, in itself, making. So, yeah. To be honest, then invited. What should I say? Should I say that opposite way? To be invited, I'm very honoured. Ah, uh, man, it's a it here and coming on the pitch where Arthur Wharton made his name. Oh, no. Spaces like this should be made out to academies. Yeah, should be made out. I mean, Sporting when we academy. were kids, where we complained about not having anywhere to play football, or not having anywhere to play. And after when I was at the age of 20, 18, I found that they closed all the youth clubs, all the centres. There was nowhere. That's why the kids were on the streets, time of night, time and evening. We used to play football at the park gate, and you didn't have no areas to play. We used to complain. And look, when we have it now, mm. look what they want to do. You can close your eyes and just see the picture. I know. You can really? just imagine just the, 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 yeah, the, the noise size. And the noise. Yeah. was you just can. unbelievable, just... wasn't it, when it was full. And what was Andy saying? There was, at one time, you can remember there being 21,000 in here watching a game all stood up and stuff. Yeah. Which is That's incredible, isn't it? Chelsea. You had the one or two yeah. cup rooms in the city. I can't. Yeah, yeah, I just can't go over this. this. <laughs> why, would they let, why would they leave them like this? This is like a damning Sorry, indictment of our declining open spaces, proper use of them. It's a damning indictment about our lack of protection of our rich fo football heritage. Not Darlington heritage. What you're looking at here is world heritage. Mm. This is where the world's first professional black player cut his teeth and paved the way for Rio Ferdinand, Saul Campbell, Pele, Paul Canneville, everybody who followed in his footsteps. Look at it. This is it. Where's the testament to Arthur? Well, just looking at it, um, all right, my background is in London and we complain about the properties that have been put up in every piece of space now back in the town, but to come here and notice outside of London and see in Darlington where I am and see this space here mm. and it's been sitting in there for the amount of years and not been used for the right text, for the right reasons, it's, it's a shame. Um, I, I can't believe this and I can just imagine how the pitch was, the size of it. The end that we were kicking, yeah. the, if, if the first half were kicking into the shed, yeah. everybody would be in the shed. Then at half time, everybody would move from the shed and walk down <laughs> and go polar lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to put the Ghanaian flag next to this and just let Ghanaian people see where their roots lie. What a piece of green that you can imagine that is underneath all this. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm torn away. I can't believe this is, is this is, can go to just for no use at all. Where history is made. History is made from the day the first professional black player, which I found out Arthur Wharton played here. I'm a bit yeah. I'm a bit tough in torn for words really right now.